So it looks a little scary, this gadget. What is it used for? What is it? It has a little bit of a threatening quality to it, but I'm sure it's not. And of course, that's why we're all here to try to figure out what the heck is that? Welcome to What the Heck Is That? The new gadget game show. I'm the host of the show. My name is Stan Greenberg. You might recognize me from NBC's Today Show. I also do a bunch of gadget segments around the country at other TV stations all over the place. And to help figure out the identity of this mystery gadget, we have our panel of experts. So let's meet them right now. Hi, panel. Hello. Hi. So first up, uh -huh. we have... Jefferson Graham. Jefferson is uh, was a tech reporter for USA Today for many years. He's also a photographer, the host of a travel series called Photo Walks. And Jeff has appeared on, drum roll please, today, Jeopardy! The Celebrity Edition, which is very impressive. He's <laughs> hobnobbed with the likes of Bob Barker, Merv Griffin, Vanna White, and he has now stepped up to the big leagues to be on <laughs> What the heck is that? So, <laughs> welcome to the first time. I did the little shows, now it's time to move up to the big shows. So, thank you very much for joining us, Jefferson. We appreciate it. The big time, yes. This is the big time. It feels like the big time, too. The lights, the cameras, everything. Okay, moving on to uh, Candy Samples. Hi, Miss Candy Samples. Hey, hey. She was kicked out, I learned, from the gifted program in high school, but she is our sweet gift to us, so we welcome Candy Samples. Thank you very much. And that high people had no idea what, why they should have never done that to you. It was, it was schools in Georgia. You know, <laughs> that. They're, they're just learning to vote in Georgia, so what else? <laughs> okay, moving on to Lois Whitman Hess. Uh, due to the pandemic, Lois has spent a lot of time in the kitchen. But don't worry, she's not cooking. That's where she charges her iPhone. So <laughs> well done. Thank you very much. Next, we have Oliver Tull. Oliver has taken advantage of the pandemic to become one of the busiest comedians in the entire country. Please welcome Oliver Three Shows Tull. Congratulations. That's right. We're all it don't, it don't take much to reach the top of that list right now. I know, I know. I three shows. That's, that's pretty, pretty sad, but all true, unfortunately. And finally, we have Harry Redlick. He is a writer, actor, has lived in Los Angeles, Paris, Buenos Aires. So Harry can ask the question, where is the Starbucks in three different languages? Very impressive. We're, we're all impressed with that, Harry. Welcome. OK, we're ready to play. You ready to play, Harry? I'm ready. Okay, so let's take a look at this gadget over here. I'm going to get up and go over to the puppet stage. Here I am at the puppet stage. So this is what it looks like. Uh, you can see it's got these things, not to give anything away, but you, this thing opens like that. And this is what it does. This is a relatively, believe it or not, new gadget. It's gotten some pretty good reviews. But what the heck is that? That's why we're all here. So I'm going to Close it back up, put it back on the puppet stage. And now we're gonna go to Jefferson Graham. Of course, Jefferson travels in the same circles I do. So do you know this product ahead of time? Never seen it. It was not pitched to me. If it was, I ignored it. And I'm glad I did because <laughs> uh, it looks really <laughs> weird. Really, really weird. It well, looks like something they would sell at Home Depot for construction. A uh, home repair of some type. Is that where it belongs? Uh, no, I would say it's not, has nothing to do with home repair. And I, I am almost 100% sure that Home Depot does not carry it, though they do carry a lot of stuff, not that. So I'm glad that I was able to stump Jefferson because that's been my challenge on this, these episodes to try and find stuff that he wouldn't know. So, so far I feel whew, two out of two. Okay, now we go on to candy samples. Okay. Uh, what you know, well, because you just said Home Depot don't have it, so okay, I'm, I'm, so <laughs> it's it's not it's not lawn and garden. No, uh, it's it's. Um, oh no! Is oh, it? There you are. Oh, oh, okay. we lost it. oh, you're back. You're back. I think. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we got scared for a minute. It's, okay. <laughs> it's, all, it's just technology. That's all. No, don't be scared. It was that gadget that got her. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm really, I'm, I, I'm, I'm really disturbed that this does, is not a, a, a yard tool. Um, so, so let me go with my worst fear. Can I use this in the kitchen? 
No, it is not a kitchen product. So okay. take okay. that off the Ooh. list too. Oh, I, I, I'm gonna sleep better tonight. So you won't find this at Williams Sonoma either. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we go on to Lois Whitman Hess. What is this product? Well, I don't know what it is, but I can tell you what it should be used for. Uh-oh, <laughs> now, now I'm worried. Okay, uh, a man is with a woman, and something, oh, no. doesn't fit into, <laughs> something doesn't fit into something, so he squeezes that thing, and it opens it up, and he dives right in. No, it is not a gynecological product. Uh, you won't find this at, what store would sell a gynecological product? No, you won't find this at uh, Victoria's oh, Secret or uh, <laughs> anywhere else. See, she's writing this book right now with a lot of, a lot of sex scenes, so I think <laughs> it has to do with, you know, that's, she's got sex on the brain. I feel all good when she's- Hey, you have to admit that that is a great product. It's a great idea for a product, yeah, I think so. For the, for the very well endowed, it's something that we'll, we'll add that to the list of future products. Okay, moving on to Oliver Toe. Oliver, so we know it's not gynecological. I'm warning well, you. Well, okay, but I have to, uh, I, I hate to say this, but I gotta back Lois up on this. Uh, my uncle is a doctor and that looks just like a speculum, which is the thing you use to get in there and make sure there's no bats living in any cage. It's it, so it, oh. it is not related to the speculum world. It is not, again, it is not gynecological. But that's the first, I, when you showed that, I was like, oh my God, that is, first of all, I've never seen one work at, at that level before. Because that thing, it was open, it was like, back it in, you know. Yeah. This is for a very large situation, yeah. Yes. No, this is not, again, not gynecological, and everybody. Okay. So now that that's out of the way. Okay. okay. Uh, what do you think, Oliver? Wow, first of all. But, uh, okay, so is this used in grilling in any way? Ooh, great guess, but no, not a barbecue item. So no, take it off the list, not for barbecue. They have barbecues at the Home Depot. <laughs> this, is, this is what's so confusing. It always comes back to Home Depot. It's not, it's, ladies and gentlemen, it's not at Home Depot. So I, I'm pretty sure. Okay, Oliver, we go on, from Oliver, we go on to Harry Redling. S speaks what three I languages. Does he speak the language of knowledge? He won our last round. So there's Bonjour, pressure, monsieur. pressure's on. Bonjour. Bonjour. Um, would I find this in the gynecological department at Home Depot? <laughs> No, you would not. <laughs> Between painting and electrical, it's not there. No, no, it's not. It's not. I, you know, that, yeah, aisle 23, I visit that a lot, the gynecological aisle. Yeah, that's um, not there. I usually share this, uh, you know, these episodes with my 12 year old niece, but not now I can't. Uh, remember 27, but wait, this is 28. Don't, uh, not for kids, not for kids. Uh, because Only because of Lois. Okay. All right. Is this. Would I use this appliance <clears throat> in my home? No, you would not use it in your home. You would use it out and about uh, doing something else. So um, no, it's not for home use, but a good guess. Okay, so we're gonna go back around for question number two for everybody. Uh, we've narrowed it down. It's not Home Depot. It's not Williams Sonoma. It's not barbecue. It's not gynecological. And with all that information, Jefferson Graham. And it's not used in the home. It's for the dentist. Open up your big mouth and stay open. <laughs> uh, it's not for a dentist. But to give a bit of a hint, he's warmer than anyone else. Ooh. So, but it's not for the dentist. But that is. Uh, actually, a very good question, and oh my uh, God. we've now brought the temperature up a little bit, oh boy. a little bit warmer. Oh okay, boy. we go on to get. So we're. Just, I think that's hopefully that's a good hint for people. Miss Candy samples. What do you think? Okay, it's not for the dentist. It's out and about. Mm -hmm. Is, might might your vet suggest this product? Uh hmm. No, because the vet implies cats and dogs and things like that. So okay. no, it's, it's, it's not. not for a vet. But again, 
you're you're both heading in the right direction, I think. But Ooh, I uh, okay, so now we're moving on to Miss Lois Whitman Hess again. Lois, it's not gynecological. Go on. <laughs> this is very scary. A dentist on the outside. I've lost my false teeth, and I take this around, and I'm looking on the beach for my teeth. No, it's not that. <laughs> it's not that. <laughs> Which one? And, and, get, get another guess for us. You can get another guess out of that one. Oh my God. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, let's see. I have no idea. Um, oh, Is it for a sporting game on the outside? Mm, bingo. We're getting closer. It oh, is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, hold yeah, you on, see, hold you, on see, there. you never know with Lois. <laughs> she has no idea. And then all of a sudden, boom. A, little, a strike of lightning happens there. Okay, with that information, Oliver Tull is going to use well, his state college education once again <laughs> to, okay, to pull this all together for us. Okay, so so the because uh, it, it, it kind of confused me because I, I I have a really bad HMO and my vet is my dentist, so that confused <laughs> me early. So, like but that. but now that she says it's used for a sport, it kind of pushes me in a certain direction. Um, is this something you would use at the country club? No, no, I would say this is not a country club sporting kind of thing. Wait, let me rephrase I, my question. For an extra twenty dollars, would they let me use this at the country club? <laughs> oh, no, I don't. I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, but, I got. It. I think I'm okay. there. Now we're gonna go to Harry Redlick. You've got all this information now. Right. What okay, so a little little bit of a recap. It's something you do use out of the home. When you talked about dentists, you said we were close. So I'm thinking that has something to do with the mouth. Um, it also has something to do with a sports event. Um, would I use this if I'm participating in the sports event? Yes, if you are participating in this sport you would be use you could use this and you would probably be glad you had it okay so now we could guess or we could go around for one more round of questions i think one more round of questions what do you think we okay to, we need to we need to figure out the sport okay so we're at jefferson graham okay. the sport we need is to figure out, the, the sport yeah. is boxing right no, <laughs> not, boxing. not boxing. It's it's not to insert the the guard in the oh, mouth. Oh, that's a good guess, but no, it's not that. It's another sport, not boxing. But Harry's right. If you guys get the sport, you'll get what this does. So let's let's move on to Miss Candy Samples. Okay. <clears throat> I, I need people like uh, uh, help. Okay. Uh, this, 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 I'm not sporty. I mean, <laughs> Oh, um, what, what gave away the fact that you weren't sporty? Was it the, I, the Buffon. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't like to swear. <laughs> I get this done once a week. Uh, okay. Soccer. Is it, a, does, is it used in soccer? It is not soccer. That is not the sport. So, but that's good. We're, we're eliminating sports. I guess that's good. But kind of use those other facts that we had there. There were some other good hints that were given. Um, you know, that the... The, the dentist, the veterinarian thing was kind of like heading us in the right direction. So what's, you know, maybe that helps you a little bit more with the uh, sporting side of this. Okay, so we go now on to okay. Miss Lois Whitman Hess. What do you think? I, oh, that's what I think. I, I think I'm to, I better stay on or I'm gonna run away. Um, uh, there is a game that you throw over an ant with a birdie and you, Touch that thing to the birdie and you throw it over the net. No, 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 it's not um, badminton. Bad 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 not badminton, which I believe. Alex, is. I would like to take people who have never seen badminton for a hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Being, uh, yeah, I haven't been out in 10 months, so I don't remember. What is that? What is that? Like game, another game. Okay, now we move on to Oliver Tull. Oliver, what's, what's I'm going to say. That yeah. uh, that that is, the sport is polo. 
for when the horses slip and fall on the ball, you use that to reach under the horse and get the ball back out. I could see that. Yeah, it's, no, not polo. We're, we're in the wrong sport. We're in the wrong sport. Okay, we're moving on finally to Harry Redlick. Any ideas? And then we all have to guess. It's not a grasper. The, the pincers went out. They didn't come in. They went out. I'll so show you exactly. Harry's making a very good point. It's spreading something, as as um, as uh, Lois pointed out in her vulgar, <laughs> in her oh so vulgar guess the first time. Ooh, it's ooh, spreading ooh. something out, but um, I I, I ooh, is it ooh. is it m maybe measuring the the distance between two? Is it used for chess? <laughs> no, not <laughs> measuring the chess. <laughs> Okay, I, I have no idea. Okay, so uh, let's 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 why don't you write down your guesses because I think it's so funny to see what, what the guesses are. Come up with what, what you think it is. If you know the sport, you'll know what it does. But the question is, what's the sport? As the panel tries to come up with this, yeah, I of this mystery product. So let's the uh, let's see the guesses. Jefferson Graham, you're up first. What's your guess? The sport is horse racing, and it is to insert a big pail into the horse's mouth. Wow, that's a, a good guess, a little scary, but no. The sport is not horse racing, but excellent guess. Okay, we go on to Miss Candy Samples. What is the sport? Uh, oh, well, but, well, I, it's a, 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 a dog racing, so it's a dog collar remover. <laughs> it is not a dog collar remover. Okay. But just, again, remember, guess. just remember, I was kicked out of the gifted program, so obviously <laughs> we know what. <laughs> oh, candy. This is, not, this is not a good day for me. <laughs> it's a Lois, great day for you. It's a great day for you. Lois Whitman Hess, what is the sport? What does this do? Well, kind of close to what I was speaking about before. <laughs> oh, no. but, but this has to do with fishing. <laughs> and is that what they call this it? is <laughs> a, I can't read my writings, you read it. Oh. Take the hook yeah. out. Take the hook out. We can't see it uh, clearly on camera, but she said, and guess what, everyone? Bing, 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 bing. No way, no Because yeah. I know my gynecological fish, fish, and you know what? Kind of. Oh. oh my God! Oh. Lois could connect those dots and come up with an answer. Yes, it's exactly it. This is called the Out Tool Fish Mouth Spreader. And just as Lois said, you uh, you uh, you put this inside the fish's mouth, open it like this, so he doesn't close on you. So you can go in there and take the hook out. Uh, this product one was named Best. It. Best tool in Outdoor Canada Magazine's 2020 Best Fishing Gear article. Wow. So it's you know, been... Steve, I, f I forgot to read that edition. See, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's, it's maybe why you're not at USA Today anymore. Because of that, you have to stay current. You have to stay current. So uh, anyway, we got a, I got a little bit of VO, a little bit of video that I can show you so you can actually see it working. I couldn't bring in a a live fish here, unfortunately. So we've got some video right here. Where you in, get that hook out, and you can then go about your business. For, for those who like to fish, especially fish with a lot of teeth, this is a must-have. Price is $12.99, and it's available at jpkoutdoors.com. jpkoutdoors.com. So once again, we learned about another interesting gadget on what the heck is that, correct? We all learned something? Yes. No fish were harmed making that video. Uh, I, think, I think the one fish in that video may have been harmed. One fish, yeah. one no fish. No other fish were harmed, just that one. 
So uh, anyway, you guys were great. This was a tough one, but we're going to have you back next time where we'll have another gadget where we'll be asking the question, gadget. what the heck is that? <laughs> so please be like it, please subscribe, please like, please comment. Make the comments hot. Lois. And, uh, thank you very much. And Lois, yes, our bow. We are not worthy. Thank you, Lois. You did great. Everybody, thanks. We'll see you next time. Take care. Stay safe. So long. I missed it by a mile. I thought it was competitive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no.